Afternoon, John. So we're getting to grips with how, how to hold the club. Um, see the left hand there? It maybe can come over a touch more. I can see your little finger there, yeah? Mm. I believe. Or is that, or is that a shadow? No, that's... But we need to see two knuckles on the left hand and, and the... That's not too bad, that line there between the index finger. We, we need it to go to the right shoulder. Yeah. It's going a little bit up there. Not bad, is it? A little bit more over there. Okay. And then the right hand, both are finger grips. Try and think finger grips rather than in the palm. Because then you can get your hands more together. It's rather strange grip, isn't it? Yeah. Where most people hold this way. Yeah. Because yeah. it feels more natural with the hands open. So your, your right hand, the palm, covers the left thumb, and that V again, we call it the V, or the line between the index finger and the thumb, you see that they, will, they want to be parallel to one another mm. when they work together. Oops, here we go. Um, go right on. I think we got the, the club head looks a bit closed there. So, but arms are nicely together. So, oh, are you? Are you rearranging it? Good. <laughs> <laughs> what a yeah, very good yeah. That's it. So chin up, eyes yeah, down. Yeah. But have you got very focused? These are, but I do wear very focused. Sometimes, sometimes they get in the way a bit. Yeah. So that's why most. People have their chin down a bit yeah. too much, but when you when you like you are now, you've got a slight knee flex, but only only uh, only to the front of the shoelaces. Otherwise, people sit too much generally. Yeah. Yeah. So now you can rotate your shoulders, and when you get to this point there. This, the club head should be pointing up. The, the bottom line called the leading edge should be vertical. It's a bit closed on that position. Mm -hmm. but this way rather than vertical. So it should turn the wrists more, is it? Well, I think, I think you've just... The way you've taken it back, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. You've actually held, it, held the right hand on top too, too long. It does move... So the right palm is facing us now. Yeah. It's not too bad. And then that, when you wrist break, if you can keep the left arm comfortably straight, it can bow a bit. As you can see, you've bowed a bit there. But you've got your weight over to the, to the right leg, yeah? So you've weight shifted good on the backswing. You've lifted slightly as well, but I mean, you know, it's early days. Yeah, I'll give you a couple of exercises to do. Mm -hmm. We can put that on as well. You can see there's a bit of a lift, isn't there? And then mm -hmm. you're coming down and through. Good shot there. <laughs> That's from that side. Now we've, we've got a nice one here, I believe, with the downswing. That's quite a good posture. You could bend over slightly with the upper body and push the bottom up a bit. Mm -hmm. So it's like a flat V at the top. We need we need a little bit more of a V V shape. So I have to find that other line I've lost. At the moment, there you're sitting a bit on your heels. I need to go up my toes more. You need. Yeah, you yeah. want the weight on the balls of the feet. Yeah. I suppose it all feels a bit strange, so you tighten up as well to start with. Yeah, it's, it's a bit like driving first, a lot to remember at first. Yeah. So what we, we call it a one-piece takeaway, so the shoulders rotate and the arms stay together. So that triangle is what you're working on. A 
triangular movement to the hips. As soon as the hands get to the hips, then you wrist break. So that's not a bad wrist break, but of course this buckle, because now, now you're standing pretty much vertical, you need to keep those angles we're talking about mm. in the upper body and that. I'll try and find, um, see if I can find a swing to show you. But that's your general shape, that's what you did to start with, mm. and that will get that better and better. Mm. Um, yeah, this is just to show, who's this? Uh, it's Henrik Stenson, oh yeah, that's in the Olympics. Mm. Now he's got a longer club than us, We're, he's, he's got a, a wooden, uh, metal wood, yeah? Yeah. But you can, see, you can see the angle there, in his body? Yeah. You want something more like that, so you're forward, so the bottom's pushed out and up a bit. Then the upper body rotates in a second. There's all these little mannerisms. <laughs> he he looks look. like he's quite flat on his feet though. Yeah, well he's he's more probably more up with the wood than yeah. the others. But he is he is forward at top. He does a forward press. With his knees there. That's yeah. his speciality and then Yeah, he does quite a forward press. But can you see the upper body movement? Yeah. So the upper body moves first, and then the lower body comes a little, just a little bit after. But so he keeps his spinal angle. That's very hard to to, to start with. Now he's at the top of the swing. His lower body. So he's turned his upper body against his lower. Now the lower body unwinds first, left knee and hip. Arms, left arm unwinds. That's the, well you are left handed, isn't mm. it? So that's brilliant. It's a bit blurred. See most of the time he's kept his spinal angle. Mm. Which is difficult for mm. the average person, you know. That's where you want to practice too, and then he, he flies on through a bit. Comes out of it at the end. Mm. So, John, this is an exercise to get your upper body to rotate. So, as you can see, the shafts behind you just need to bend over a bit more, though. So it's quite good there. Next one. Oh, sorry. All right. So you've rotated there. You just need to look at the ball a bit more. So you really, you need to push your bottom sort of out and up, right. away, so that you get over the ball more. But I think this this was, this is an and. Focus on the ball, but that's a good turn there. So you see how the shoulder goes down and yeah, around. Yeah. That was probably the h hardest one for you to do. That was good though. Well done. Yeah, that's better. But this one, hold holding the shaft, was easier for you, or it looked easier. I don't know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's better. And the left arm goes up, both go up. That's great there. So that shows how much you can turn, doesn't it? Mm. Well, there's something. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic rotation, that is. And it shows that you could actually, once you get the timing right, as l but of course the big muscles, your, your upper body, tend to, when you swing the club, the hands, they take the shaft and the club head back rather quickly. Yeah. And leave the body behind. Yeah. So you have to work on the body yeah. turn. And then it's the opposite on the way down. The left knee and hip drive off, and the left arm unwinds. Oh, 
That's pretty good. There's bound to be a bit of bobbing around to begin with. Yeah. I mean, we're not in the gym all day long like the other players. See, that, that's getting there. The posture's getting there. If you can just push up here a bit, up and out, yeah. that'll hang over slightly more. It's quite a good art there. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. The no. first one looked quite awkward, the holding this, the yeah, behind you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, don't do that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to enjoy it as well. Yeah. That's good, well played. That's one. Right then, John, so we're trying to make a shorter swing now. Obviously, it looks like you're you're a bit tense in the shoulders, you know. And that's that's normal when you start. But you're up and over. That's a better position now. You're not sitting so much. Mm. So you've got a chance now to get the left left shoulder under. So in in this instance, you you straightened up a bit at the end of your swing because you're standing to attention. You look a bit tense in the upper body. Right? Yeah. But. The second time, see that was quite good through the ball then. Second time, I believe we stayed over more. You know, so you want to keep this spinal angle there. Try and keep that and just rotate it around it. Oops. So that's pretty fair. Do just for five minutes. I'll put you on the on on this uh, wheel behind me. Now it'll feel a bit artificial, but it's just to get the width of the swing. Yeah. 